morning is to the early doctor on him, he's Swala. And um Ogunjuku Kingdom, which is in Guara State. But I hail from um Ife. And my mother is from uh, she's Benelite, Uruguay. And um, from the royal family on both sides. And uh, I'm married to um Gabriel Bode Swala, CPA. And we reside in um, Maryland, USA. And I have three children, and I'm proud and I thank God. My first daughter is an attorney. My second daughter just graduated to the dentist, like me. And then my son's an accountant, just finished his MD. I just came back from that. I give God the glory for all that. And um, the reason I'm giving God the glory, and they say to whom much is given, much is expected. Now that my kids are stable and they're comfortable, I want to now come and really serve the people. I've been in the U.S. since I was a baby. I was raised in a year. And I got married there too. I didn't even know how to speak with her, but through my husband, I met. And um, I've always been passionate about people. It is my last thing I would give it to the poor or the underserved. In the U.S., I was made a commissioner um, for the state of Maryland as um, Commissioner of African Affairs. And I was the chair for the health department, the health section. And I've been doing medical missions all over health fairs and everything. And my organizations are Community Dentistry and Wheels, and, um, which was the first one I started because I'm a dentist by profession. And Mercy International Medical Mission is what I'm now using globally. So we just don't do, when we do our, our medical missions, is a little different because I also donate stuff, items hospital equipment, medications. So when we do medical missions, I come with the whole package. Okay. And I also bring the doctors. Okay. So all I ask for whoever is inviting us, provide us accommodation, security, and feeding. And at the end, give us an memorial. And it's for my team that comes. We did one for our father. We get a little emotional. We made our last year with him. And we did, and we also later at Jumovi, coming at Jumovi, in 20s, 16. And then come back to we also came, we met the president and our governor then. And we were supposed to do sister state something, but I also donated a mobile unit for made a lot of you which is the one we take around to do it's a dental unit. <coughs> so we do a lot of medical missions. And uh, with that, I got more encouraged, and that's where I met my the king that gave me this title. Of Kingdom. And he's also, I'm also, oh, I've got to say it, I'm also a lion. And I was the president of the um, Lions Club in Kenya. He had a Renaissance Lions Club, three time president, and the founder of it. So that's why I met Kagesi. I was in Ilong, you know, medical mission, and he came, and he just saw my passion. I know through lionism, it's something you're passionate about. You know, not everybody understands giving back. They think I hope on the way she had this too much. But it's a passion. So if you're passionate about it, you won't, you won't see anything wrong in giving. So um, with that, he offered me this title and I took it. And with that, I've been having the leverage. Because my ultimate goal is to be a minister for us to create something called community outreach. We don't have it in Nigeria. So with having a NGO having that would help us in some of the challenges we are faced with. I brought two medical vans for one of these things. 2016, till today they've not been cleared. They first go to the they go to finance in Abuja. Finance you go to health. Between that, the ball is dropped. We don't want to go to the logistics of that. I've lost over five containers. It's painful, but I find ways out of it. Around it, bring the um, items in, and carry, we have to pay excess. So things get stuck at the port, but we can't keep complaining. We just have to find a solution. I think the only solution we can find is if there's a ministry for it. So that way, it's only for NGOs. So tariff taxes will be waived, but it's only for people doing NGO work. So that's the challenge I face with this. I met with the first lady, I did a, it was a virtual interview, and she awarded me the thing that we did for her, 
when they were doing the sensitization. I did the medical mission there. Then I was also fortunate, um, Honorable Makide of the house. He also, I did something for him for Ifa So I've been, I've met with him at Shiwaju. I've met with him years back with this passion. This passion is over 20 years. So you can see I'm very determined that I want to do it. Because at the end of the day, it's not the money, it's not about the money. It's about the prayers that people are showering on me that keeps me going, which some people don't understand. So that's my life story, that's my journey. But I'm not going to stop till it's achieved by the grace of God. Yeah. Let's talk about your style. I like the fact that um, you've created a style for yourself and you love for white. Is it something you decided to do or something that comes to the, the title? title? Yeah, no, it really. It comes with the title. Oh, I love fashion. I love clothes. But since I decided to take it, I have to also respect. But okay, let me let the re records show. This is not a ritual title because Kabisi knows it and the lady I love told him. I thought it was more of a, a, a social thing that would give me the platform to pursue this philanthropy work. So it's nothing spiritual, it's nothing traditional. I didn't eat anything, I didn't do any of that. So what white is what is accustomed to really use. So right now, what's on the agenda if you talk about it for now? Um, right now, I'm still trying, since this is the political season, yeah. I'm trying to go to let some politicians know that let us go out and serve the people. When you give to the people, you don't have to ask them to vote for you. They would see that, yes, you genuinely care about them. And um, that's my goal. And then on the seventh, my um, my king is having his seventieth birthday on July seventh. That was when I reached out to Sunday, and um, we're doing a medical mission that day. You know, we check people's blood pressure, do their glucose level, because to me, prevention is better than cure. A lot of these illnesses we find ourselves with is because we're not knowledgeable. But if we're more knowledgeable, and the government needs to also realize that. If we do prevention, if we do more screenings. Oh, I also did something for Nigerian Union journalists. Okay. I did something for them too. And it's just the awareness, because I provide everything free. So it's just more of an awareness. And I hope city people, let us make, I don't want partnering with you guys, let us make it a priority. One day we can just go out into your community. Everybody at seven o'clock, come on out. We're just gonna do that. When you do that, even if challenges want to come, it's at least we did good work. They're doing this for us, and the prayer they'll be sharing you with. <laughs> Nothing, money cannot buy. Prayers. Money can buy. Are there other areas you wanted to talk about that we haven't touched? No, that's about it. That's about it. And that it, it sounds easy, it sounds simple, but it's very complicated. I'm telling you, this is almost a 30 year journey. Next year, I'll be 60. The third are, are, are there, what, what would also be your message to those in government in terms of what they can do to help? Um, in in government, they... government is trying. Okay. Let's call it what it is. They need to have the PPP, the, partner, the private partnerships with people like us. But because a lot of people have abused it, government is leery. But if they let people like us, like I can, like I said, I get containers of things every month but i have to get rid of it so their challenge is getting rid of it how are we going to take care of the people but if the government can do it whereby makes it easier we'll be, um, because what we do is when i do this medical mission there's accountability you got to see the pictures so i know over there they like that because they write it off that's the system we need to put, start over here Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Thank you. And thank you very much for granting me this opportunity to share my story. And I pray that everything that you want in your life 